Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your angel card reading for the week starting the 14th of February. This is the reading for Sagittarius and I'm using my teacup tarot deck and my time to shine deck as well. So let's get right on with your reading for a really positive week. And your overall energy here is the card, the Knight of Coins. Now, all the knights in the deck have motorcycles, but the Knight of Coins is the only one who isn't riding theirs because here is our lovely angel and she's looking at the map. Our lovely angel here is working out exactly where she wants to go and just as importantly, how she's going to get there. So the message with this card is detailed planning. Plan A, plan B and plan C if you need it. So that's your overall energy for the week. Our help or our hurdle, we have the nine of pencils and this reminds you to stay positive. This card says focus on what could go right. We are very often programmed to do the exact opposite. So do what our lovely angel's doing here. Focus on the positive, on the light, and focus on what could go right. Our guidance here, we have the card, the seven of teacups. And this is the card of choices. And most importantly, it's wise and sensible choices. And our lovely angel here, look, she's standing here and she has a choice of seven teacups. Now, most of the teacups have lovely things in like butterflies and halos. But there's one down here with a little grumpy gingerbread man. She does not want to choose that one. So she's stepping back. She's looking at them all and she's taking her time and making wise and sensible choices. Following on beautifully from here, the Knight of Coins isn't in any rush. Taking the time, thinking it through. Taking the time, making the decisions. And here we have another card of taking time. This is how we can help ourselves. And this is reflection. And our lovely angel here, look, she's stopping for a cup of tea, a pot of tea. She's put her rucksack down. And she's just reflecting on how far she's come and how well she's doing before climbing to new heights. So this card of reflection is very much one of pulling everything together, seeing how far you've come, evaluating everything carefully. And then you'll be ready to make your next plan. Pulling it all together, we have the card, the King of Coins. Now, the King cards are authority figures. They're here to help us. And the King of Coins is one where his qualities are success, confidence, new opportunity. Whatever the King of Coins turns their hand to is successful. The King has learned to be successful. So this could be in your job, in your career, in your home life, could be getting promotion, anything really that the King of Coins turns his hand to is a success. And more importantly, the King is happy to share that wisdom and that knowledge with others to help them achieve the same. So we have a card of confidence and success right here for you and the knowledge on how to do it. And the final outcome card, we have card number six, the lovers. Again, this is the card of choices and decisions from the heart. Choices here, choices here, and again here. And our beautiful angel, she's looking at all the roses that are for sale here. And she's going to choose the one that feels right for her. She's going to choose the one that suits her the best. And she's taking time to make that mindful and sensible choice. She's going to do what feels right 
for her what makes her feel good. So just to summarize, careful and detailed planning and focusing on what could go right. Wise, sensible and well thought out choices after time for reflection and looking at the whole picture. And then we have success and confidence and new opportunity right here for you and more decisions and choosing from the heart, choosing what feels right for you for your next move forward. So let's just clarify. We have the card, the three of life. Time to be a good team member, being brilliant at what you do and working creatively. So other people coming in and working as a team is key information for you this week. And here we have that again, two of action, the card of positive partnerships, somebody coming in to help you. Here we have like Mary Poppins with a bag with everything she needs in. Somebody coming in to help you and help you move forward. The eight of thought reminds you to break free from negativity, believe in yourself and move forward towards positive new things, leaving behind any negative thoughts or anything that's holding you back. Focus on positivity here and here. And the one of emotion is time to enjoy an improving intuition. New emotional experiences coming in for you, happiness, success and joy. Sometimes it can be a new home, but this ever strengthening intuition. Our lovely angel here is listening. And these are all little prompts from the universe that are here to help her. She's listening and she's going to do what feels right for her. The Five of Wisdom card reminds us to work in groups again. Here it is, other people featuring, seeking out mentors, teachers, new ways of working, all new ideas coming to the table and working out which one will serve you best and help you to move forward. These conversations and collaborations can really help you. And finally, the eight of emotion card. Time to make that move forward towards something good. Our lovely angel here, she's got her back to us. She's got the sat nav program to success. Success. And she's already on her way. So after she's thought it through, she's made a plan. She's looked at everything. She's worked as a team. Those things will help her see her clear way forward to success. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, and you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now, and I'll see you soon.